Welcome to the live webinar Essentials of Online Setup for Your Business. This is a way that you can get more paying clients from your website. And you might have a bit of an insight into what this is about here because it's um, this is about an online setup for your business. It's not just about a website or it's not just about SEO. It's far more involved than that. Uh, we've got a few people here tonight, so that should be good. Internet marketing. The internet's just a media. It's a bit like you know the news print media or the television media or radio media. It's just a way to get your message out. There's a massive difference between marketing and sales. Yeah, you know, sales is the act of actually getting you know, getting the product to the person. Marketing is getting the person to you so that you can sell to them. Now, if you do your marketing properly, then selling to them is just a foregone conclusion. Uh, marketing to the right people with the right attraction strategy so that you're getting those right people into the right places. Engaging those people to the point where you're you're answering the questions, solving their problems, um, becoming a trusted advisor to them is a very, very good strategy. And then conversion of those people, you know, once they land into your sales funnel, converting them through to become a client is the process that we all go through. And what makes this all possible and makes it a far more effective process is analysing what you do. So if you analyse uh, how your clients react, uh, what they're reacting to, you know, a lot of times you don't have the facilities to be able to sit and talk to a client when you're marketing yourself online. Uh, so having, yeah, you, know, you, that you don't have that interaction, you don't get that feedback. You know, like when you're sitting talking to people, and most people I speak speak to, they say, if I can get in front of someone, then I'll sell. My product or service to them, you know, ninety percent of the time. And if I don't, then I might sell it to them later down the track. But you know, mo that's most answer. When most passionate business owners that I speak to are in that situation. They know that if they can get in front of someone, they will sell the product or service. Understanding more about your customer is the job of the analysis side of it and the beauty of the internet and that's why I, I get so excited about the internet as a marketing media is that you can track and measure everything you do and that's a great thing that you know, when you have the ability to be able to um, look at and see what your customer is doing um, in the yeah could be the middle of the night, uh, but you can then segment those people out and then provide better information to them, which is providing a better solution for them, and in the end you both win, and that's the ultimate goal. So looking a bit closer, your clients, who are they? <coughs> yeah, we all have have clients. If you've been in business for a little while, um, you have clients there that you might like to deal with um, there'll be definitely 20% of all your clients that pay you the most money and give you the least hassle and there'll be 80% of those that uh, are the most hassle and the least amount of money and then there'll be a few on either side of that but if you look at your clients at the moment you know look at the ones who buy most often uh, who are the easiest to deal with and refer most business to you. Uh, look at and analyse those people. What do they do? What questions do they ask? You know, how do they have their problems solved? And how do you do that? And you'll go a long way to then helping or understanding which clients you want to go and target better and what's going on for them and what they need as far as solutions to their problems. And if you can do that and feed that back into your system and that's what I'm talking about here all of these uh, processes for setting up your business online are systems and they're systemized to the point where you can then look at the system 
improve the system, tweak it, automate it some more to give you a better result. And that's how you build a business or build the foundations for a business that is going to be scalable, saleable, profitable, and give you more enjoyment out of being in business because you have more time to do the, the parts that you like. So <clears throat> once you understand who you, these clients are, then you need to go out and get them and find where they're hanging out. And the beauty, you know, online, they have places where they go to get their information. And your attraction strategy needs to it made up of a few different things. You know, it's your marketing message. It's where they go. You know, some people you will use um, social media. LinkedIn is a great strategy for people who are professionally oriented. But if you're in the food business, then maybe you know, pictures of your food do much better. And that's where things like Instagram and Pinterest and things like that, and now Facebook and even Twitter now I noticed uh, putting more information out there about um, uploading photos. So look at what the message is, look at where it's placed, look at what it says and who it's saying it to. And then you know, look at places where you can get much more leverage on that. So once once you know your, your customer, then go to looking at paid advertising. Like if you can go and spend a hundred dollars to get enough traffic into your funnel that's going to pay you back a thousand dollars, then why wouldn't you go and spend a thousand dollars to do that, or or ten thousand dollars to do that? You see what I mean? It's there's there's a place for paid advertising that not a lot of people um, fully understand and it's only done to, firstly paid advertising is a really great way to get information but if you're not feeding and improving that cycle you can end up spending a lot more money than you make um, so you've still got to have this process of feeding back into the top of the loop the intelligence that you gather through the sales process and through your funnel to help it make more sense and more yeah be more targeted the next time around there's also non-paid content and that is you know your articles and your, your content marketing yeah and that it used to be called SEO but you know I prefer not to use the term SEO anymore because it got some bad press about uh, but it's search engine optimization and you know, Google saw a lot of what was being done as search engine manipulation and therefore slammed it big time and a lot of people lost a lot of traction that they'd built up over time uh, and had to spend a lot of time and effort to get it back. You know, and social media is, is obviously a big thing as far as attracting people. Once you've attracted them to your funnel then you, the start of your funnel on yeah, in, in tools terms is your website so you you put all your marketing messages out there and it could it doesn't necessarily always have to be just online marketing it could be you know paper advertising but if you're putting a flyer out there then make sure that it directs someone back to a place that backs up what that flyer says so having a flyer that you know, it might be you know, get a, a discount on the next time you purchase a new stove then make sure they land up on a page on your website that gives them the opportunity to take up that discount see what I mean and that so all of this information that you get out there can be all linked together to come back into your funnel and your funnel sort of starts with your website and from there it's your content on your website it's how easy your website is to use that drives you back down that or drives or slides your prospect into your funnel and you keep giving them information in this case you know the engagement is bundled done by a special offer here you can see here there's a, a char grill 595 uh, deal and that will be a deal, this is a Domino's Pizza's uh, deal, and that will be a deal that needs to be picked up before 5.30 in the afternoon, and it, you know, it works for Domino's, but it also works for people looking for cheap jar chicken deals. So that's enough for someone to give them their email address, 
and I now notice that Domo's have a, a deals app so you get and download the app and it's all just deals in your geographically located area and it picks that up off the GPS off your phone and so it's targeting and pushing deals to you all the time so it's learning more and more and more about what you do all the time that's perfect from Domino's perspective but it's also good from your perspective because you're not getting rubbish that you're not, not interested in you know, if you, you're hungry and you eat at 5 o'clock in the afternoon then you'll get a deal for a 4 95 pizza on a Monday or Tuesday and you're ha as happy as it can be and so are Domino's because they've got your email address and they'll continue to make offers Yeah, the, the thing with Domino's is they have worked out that with their little stores in their suburbs if they have a hundred people on their um, home delivery list and a hundred people on the pick up in store list they've worked out that each person who picks up in store it's worth about fifteen dollars a week to them each person who gets home delivery is about twenty five dollars a week hundred people on each of those lists it's worth over a million dollars a year to them so that's good pretty good and they continually to do, do that and they just continue to ramp up that that whole process and that system of marketing their their content you notice every time you go there you'll get a brochure that has or a flyer that has a deal in it yeah 10 percent off your next one or five dollars off your next pizza or whatever it is two for one the next time you buy so just getting you to come back all the time so building a list of potential clients is a way to helping help you engage so seven points of contact we all remember that from basic sales school if you're out there prospecting people it takes seven times to be in touch in touch with those people before they will feel comfortable enough to in some cases even give you an appointment but in most cases before they buy off you you've got to continually understand what they want feed them the information that they need that's going to help them make an informed decision to buy that's the bottom line and you want to do that in a way that is not threatening or intimidating and that's called building rapport and so you have a relationship with these people and and that's done through nurturing that relationship through to become a lifetime customer yeah you know, the goal for any business is to have a, a list of people you know, in this case it's a, an email list base list of people that you can then continue to communicate with and because they know like and trust you you can make offers to them of things that you know will benefit them and therefore that relationship is going yeah you know, it's building as you go so converting these people converting consists of content as well so it's what you feed like I said before when you attract someone back to your website you have them land on a page that is consistent with the message that they first saw so that content lines up it's very focused so the message in that content is still very focused on the client and not trying to sell to them remember the old story you don't get married on the first date so you've got to provide information and you know enough of a reason for people to want to stay in touch with you and and you do that by being relevant to what their issues are to uh, yeah, understand what they know um, problem solving so how your product is going to fix their problem the big thing that most people miss in all of this you know you look at a website and they go oh hi I'm you know John and I've been in business for 35 years and you know, we've done the right thing and our motto is that we serve you the best out of anyone whereas this donation particularly online people are looking for how they're going to benefit by using your product like the cold hard fact of life is that they don't care how long you've been in business all they care of is if they buy the oil product is it going to solve their problem and so you turn it all around and make sure that the message is focused on the client and it's consistent with solving their problem not blowing your own trumpet as hard as that might be to accept for some some people 
Uh, multiple touch communication, like I said before, there's seven, usually seven points of contact that need to be made before someone feels comfortable enough to buy off you. Now the thing that locks all of this in together is analysis. Now most of the websites that or most business owners that I've spoken to, when I first look at their website they say, oh yeah we've got Google Analytics and I can see that when I look at the site. Um, I ask them for what, how their business is running and what they're tracking on and they haven't got a clue. They don't look at them, they don't understand them, they find it confusing, um, but it is the most important part of what you're doing in that you can track the actions of your visitors to better understand what they are looking for when they land on your website. Yeah, most commonly people will land on your website and disappear without taking any action at all. Yeah, some some websites that's 50% of people will do that. Other and when I say take any action, that's not even you know like clicking on a, another page or scrolling down a page. Most will look at the first headline and then go. Um, sometimes that's as high as 100% of people. So you want to make sure that that's not happening to you. And and measuring the right data is the really important thing. So you know, some people say, oh yeah, visits to your website is the most important. But if you get you know, a thousand visits and no one buys, then what's the point? You're better off getting one visit and one, one sale. So by setting it up properly and setting up goals and being able to follow the process through, you can gain a lot of insight into how your visitors are interacting with this site. What you know, what keyword, for instance, they come in on, and what pages they go looking for information when they do that. So you can actually help by looking at those pages and seeing if they are still relevant to what these people are looking for. I call it a feedback loop, and it's just a way of uh, running all of the the information that you've received as people are going through your sales funnel, picking out the the really uh, valuable information out of that and then feeding it back into the top so that you go out, you know, you better define your customer or your potential customer, you then go and the content that you produce to go put out there is much more in line with those particular people and that's how you can sort of narrow down your, your customer base to only get those ones that you want to deal with and that's that's the ultimate goal and then by having these systems because you know, there's, there's four main systems the identifying the client the uh, attraction so going out and getting the customers and that could be paid it could be SEO it could be all sorts of things then converting and engaging those people and then analyzing that um, setting those four systems up are the key to building a really solid foundation for a scalable business that you could possibly sell down the track or just work your way back out of it and have it sort of run automatically. Uh, there's all sorts of options that are available to you if you can systemize and then run the feedback loop around and around so that you can then get more people who are your ideal client and therefore the sale will be easier, the, you know, the whole process of nurturing those people should be simpler um, and your business then becomes much, uh, a much more predictable beast than what it might be right now. So that's what we do. Um, I'm not going to wrap it on too much about selling. If you, if you like what you've heard and you want to talk more then please just email me, I'm Russ at Lead Rank Media and we can talk about how this sort of system can be set up for you. Um, but if you want to just run off and uh, the information that I've given you there, if you want to go off and try and do anything and you're sort of stuck and not sure what to do, set up analytics on your site now so that even if nothing happens straight away, that down the track I can look at it if you decide to come to me or someone else can look at at least look at your website and get some sort of insights into what your customers are doing so 
that will help be very helpful to anyone down the track. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, sorry about the little bit of a dicky start we had, but um, if you also like what you heard here tonight, um, please leave a comment down below uh, on this blog post and uh, I'll let you know when we're going to run another one. So thank you all for attending tonight and we will see you again at the next webinar that we hold. Thanks. Bye.